Welcome to Coffee and Conversions, your casual segment on the top B2B marketing tactics from experiences, not textbooks. Here are your hosts, Dan and Miles. All right, marketers, welcome to episode number five of Coffee and Conversions. You got Daniel, you got Miles, big episode today. I got a collar shirt on, so you know it means something. Um, what are we talking about today? The three most important parts to onboarding a new client. Mm, yeah. Onboarding a new client. So, as a marketing agency, this is really, really important to the success of the relationship. So, what do you want to go through? The three most important things? Yeah, let's start with number one. Um, if you want, I can go through what I think number one is for for most important part. Um, what we found is that way too many digital marketers just jump the gun um, before they completely understand the product or service the new client is offering. Um, so we like to take a bunch of time to fully understand the product and service, meet with their sales team, meet with the stakeholders, and completely understand its value points, um, their branding, messaging, as well as doing our own research on the market, seeing what other competitors are doing, um, and, and seeing how similar it is to what we're doing. Yeah, what happens if a partner such as us doesn't really take the time to understand the client? Then we're just camouflaged by every other competitor. When it comes to, we focus on value points for really pushing our new clients and, and that's how we see success. Um, when we don't fully understand their product or service, we're just using top of level information that's general to all their competitors and we don't stand out. Yeah, and I think what happens is people get stuck in the cookie cutter approach to marketing. So when you don't really understand your customer and the objective and the marketing objectives, you fall into the, um, what I call the build website, throw Google ads profit mentality, um, which is never true. Um, so you really want to understand your client and your and your partner so you can create a custom plan that can drive growth. Perfect. What do you have for number two? Number two, really, really important is get to the bottom of why their customers actually buy. Um, and the best example I've heard of this is why does somebody use a lawn service, right? At the surface level, it's because they want healthier plants. But the real reason is they want the nicest house in the block. Uh, so if we really understand why customers buy, what's the real reason is it they want more bandwidth, they want to impress their boss, they want to hit specific KPI. Um, to really understand that, your marketing is going to get to the root of the problem, solve that problem, and that's how you're going to get people that don't just convert for leads, that hopefully convert to customers. Love it. Yeah, that's uh, we see the same thing with people saying they have the best customer service. Well, people like that. That's the root cause. Mm -hmm. you're saying. So, um, third point, most important point, um, building a relationship with the new client and their team, um, whether that's their sales team or marketing team or both. Um, I think, then you have a little more experience on this part. So, break us down to... Uh, Who's more important on the teams, uh, stakeholders, how we define success, things like that? Yeah, I mean, every, every company is unique. You want to understand the people you're working with. You only want, want to understand decision makers as well as stakeholders. There's people that are heavily involved in the project at a tactical level, um, but might not always be the final decision maker. So you don't want to get stuck in a situation where you're iterating too much in the back end. Um, so it's best to really understand the dynamics of the team figure out how to work with them effectively and really understand what success means to them. Um, if you understand the dynamic of the team, you can build better relationships, execute more effectively, and the better you execute and the better relationship you have, the more likely you are of achieving your goals. I love it, that's perfect. Well, it is Taco Tuesday. Um, we're gonna go get a bunch of tacos from the, the truck downstairs mm. and um, if you guys have any comments or feedback on today's episode, uh, comment below, and then we'll see you next week for episode number six. See ya. See ya.